Hello, my name is Stephen Garcia, Coordinator of Community Education, Outreach, and Legal Services, and welcome to Women's Protective Services. As you can see, we're here in our children's playroom. The design, it was made with in mind to try to help children play through, like a play therapy thing, to play through the trauma that they've seen, they've experienced at home. It really helps them to process because a lot of those kids don't have the verbal skills to really express what they've been through and so this is a great place for them to heal and to start becoming healthy little children and, and in the hopes that they can thrive as they grow older and we're much more than just our, our, our children's department but I wanted to start off first because it's really cool it looks awesome and it is um, but it all starts with that call to our hotline when a victim calls our hotline and our crisis intervention center, that's where it starts, where we st start taking information and we can bring in that individual or that family to safety. And then once we get them in and we make, we've got security measures all around, we've got video cameras, we've got all this uh, uh, fencing with barbed wire, everything that you, you would want to feel safe, we've got it here with those protocols in place. And once they're here, then we can start on the basic human needs, like we'll feed them, we'll clothe them, and then we can start working on other stuff, working towards self-sufficiency, like getting a job, like going back to school, maybe getting in transitional housing once their stay here is up. We've got two and three bedroom apartment living here. They've got their own kitchen and they share a shared living space. And so, we try to make it as family oriented as possible. Our counseling, like I said earlier, does with, helps with the children, but they also help with mom and the adults. They have individual counseling. They use cognitive behavioral therapy. They also have support groups that go on. There's so many different facets to these support groups that try from different angles to help those ladies heal and to become healthy, happy individuals that thrive. We've got a legal department. They help with protective orders, divorces, custody, even immigration issues. We refer a lot of our clients to local legal en entities, like Legal Aid Society, for instance. We'll go to court with them. We'll help them make police reports. We'll take pictures of injuries. We do all that kind of stuff. Another thing that we do is we've got a social services department that I mentioned earlier that helps them get on their feet, both financially and get them out into the public where they don't have to make that deal. Well, they're put up with this abuse they're, so that way their kids can be fed and they have a roof over their heads. That's not a, way, that's not a healthy way to live. So we want them to be self-sufficient and to something sustainable. We've got a data entry department. All these services that we're doing, we enter them into databases and our data entry takes those numbers and those facts and puts them in reports and sends them off to our grantors because we do need to be held, be held accountable for what we're doing here. We've got an outreach team and that's exciting. We go out into the public. We go out into our 12 county service area. We, we assist victims that are out there or we provide public awareness campaigns through trainings and presentations to educate the public, to bring awareness we maintain professional relationships with law enforcement and prosecutors. We're out there in the schools teaching the youth about dating violence, what is healthy, what is unhealthy. And we've got a VIP program where we've got to educate those perpetrators of domestic violence in the hopes that they will stop doing what they're doing and they won't hurt anyone else again in the future. So all of these things come together. We're wraparound services to try to make this family safe, to heal them, and to bring, rise them up so that way they can be healthy and happy when they leave our shelter. One of the things here, the crazy times that are coming around here, we've got the COVID-19, everybody knows about that. And rest assured, we are taking every precaution, we're doing everything the CDC recommends as far as distancing, wearing masks, all that kind of stuff. I'm not wearing one, but I can guarantee you, once that camera shuts off, I'm putting my mask on. We just want the public to know that we know that violence has increased due to this. 
and we are still here, we're still open, and we're still ready to help those victims to safety and possibly on the way to happiness. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a good, good day.